Hey internet! So my claim to fame is that I know a lot of these random science facts that I like to tell people on occasion. <laughs> you can imagine me at parties. Hey, did you guys know that all Macintosh apples came from one initial tree? Have you heard about necrotizing fasciitis? It's a flesh-eating disease. <laughs> did you know that the visual system of kittens isn't fully developed till 12 weeks? Even weirder, some of my favorite facts to share are about human and non-human reproductive systems. Hey, I can tell you why the human penis is shaped the way it is. My absolute favorite facts to learn are about weird animal reproductive systems. And there's one in particular that I always share with people, so I figured I'd share it with you today. And since today is my last day of undergrad classes ever, I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity for you to learn something. Learn something, learn something, learn something today. Thanks to Hank Green. The YouTube community has already been able to learn about the weird life cycle of the anglerfish through a witty and ridiculously catchy tune. As the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but it has no freaking idea what else to do. But Hank, I see your anglerfish and I raise you the adactylidium mite. To get some background, mites are these tiny, sometimes microscopic bugs, and many species are parasites. In fact, some of you might even have some mites living in your eyebrows and eyelashes right now. There are many different types of mite, but one particular genus, the adactylidium mite, has a really weird reproductive system. Adactylidium mites are insect parasites. In particular, they feed on the eggs of small winged insects called thrips. When a mite is pregnant, she attaches to an egg and begins feeding on it. But the really interesting story begins inside the mother. Now, it's no surprise that insects can produce many offspring at one time, but the mites do something weird. When a mite is pregnant, she's normally pregnant with about 10 female offspring and one male offspring. And as these offspring grow inside the mother's body, they begin to eat her from the inside out until they reach sexual maturity. Now, once the mites have reached sexual maturity, the one male offspring impregnates all of the female offspring while still in the mother's womb. Shortly after that, the female mites rip holes in the mother's body and emerge. The male emerges too, but he doesn't try to eat or mate again, he just simply dies a couple hours later. Then the whole life cycle starts over again with the newly impregnated and hatched females. The mite life cycle is only about four days long. Sibling mating in the animal kingdom is not at all uncommon, but mating within the womb is. For this reason, I think a dactylidium mite reproduction is probably one of the craziest reproductive strategies out there. Well, I hope you've learned something, and I'll see y'all later.